in update tools, if we hook internet up to this with our MySukup uh, remote web access, um, highly recommend to disable Windows Update. Um, we don't want Windows to automatically try to update itself. Uh, usually it will happen in the middle of the night when your dryer is running and it will shut your dryer off. Um, there are potential for some updates that could even crash it and cause us to have to reload Windows on there. So before you plug an internet cable into, into the touchscreen uh, to use that feature, definitely go to Tools, Update Tools, and disable Windows updates. Hey everybody, it's Dan from Sukup Manufacturing. Today we're going to go through a tutorial for how to set up the QuadraTouch Pro with MySukup. First, you're going to click Tools. Then you're going to click Connectivity Tools menu. And then Remote Access menu. Now on this screen, you're going to see it's disabled, so you're going to click this to enable it. I highly recommend you read the personal information agreement, and then after you're done reading it, click I accept, and then proceed. Now you'll notice on this page, you're going to have a device ID and a device pin, and it's going to be saying attempting connection as well as a QR code. When you scan the QR code with your phone, it's going to look something like this. If you don't have an account, be sure to create one. If you do, you'll need to log in. I have an account, so I'm going to click log in and I'm going to enter in my username. Now at this point, it's going to show your device ID and pin again, and you're going to need to click, I agree to the terms and conditions, read the personal information agreement and click, yes, I agree, and then submit. It's that simple. We've now added a site to you. Now there's a couple things you'll notice. It turned green, which means we succeeded on the dryer, but the there's also no subscription because it says NA to the right. So you're going to need to contact your dealer to get a subscription. But before we do that, there's still some things we can set up. Click the top right, click my account, then enter in your phone number. Now, this isn't my phone number, but I'm still going to put one in to show you. And so here's a phone number in there. You're going to need to select your mobile carrier. If it's Verizon, select Verizon. If your mobile carrier is not in this list, you'll need to choose other. And you'll need to contact your mobile carrier. It explains it here at the bottom for what you would need to ask them for. I'm going to, in this example, just enter in what's shown on there, tmomail.net. Uh, that would be T-Mobile's carrier. But if you had selected T-Mobile, it would have worked. Hit save and continue. And then you're going to go back to the home screen. You're going to click the drop down and you're going to click manage site alarm. Now what this does is chooses which alarms you're going to get. So if you click the top right there and click set site alarm to default and then yes, it's now going to create all the alerts for the thing. Now, if you drop this down, you can see what's checked and what's not. The defaults are usually pretty good for most people, but you can change them if you don't like them. Now we're going to need to go back to the touch panel and we're going to need to get the device ID from here to call your dealer. So get that so you can contact your dealer with that. But then also while we're here, you can enter in a site name that's going to be memorable. So you can go ahead and enter in the site name here at the bottom. And that's going to allow you to have a descriptor on the MySukup account that is useful to both you and your dealers. So maybe your farm name and the model 2410. If that's what you have a 2410 mix flow, you could put in something like this that's memorable and then you can save that. Now, after you contact your dealer and you get your subscription purchased, when you load back up on the app, you'll notice it says NA, you can swipe down and then you'll see now there's a subscription of 365 days. Now, if you have a long site name like we punched in, you'll notice that it kind of hides that to the right. And so you'll have to click the plus arrow to the left in order to see it. But then you can click into the site, click into the dryer. And on your first load, until it has a chance to kind of populate everything it needs to, it may take a little bit longer or you might even get an error at this point and you just need to wait you know, up to 15 minutes for your dryer to get all the data it needs out to the site for operation. In this case, the data is there. It just took a little bit to load. Here it is, dryer's not running and you've successfully set it up.